Oh man, I really needed this time to get away from everything, just kind of relax in the woods. No, I'm in the woods in a vacation house. This is the second floor. No way, you can't be here. No way, you can't be here. What? Well, I guess we're doing this again. Let's get started. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat, except I'm not wearing any aviators today because I am kinda on vacation. And, but that doesn't stop this ninja guy from dropping off weapons. And so I get to review four different new weapons <clears throat> for you guys to see how well they would do in the zombie apocalypse. So let's get into this next episode. So guys, if you don't know what this series is, I basically take the new weapons I get sent from KarateMart.com that they send me for their Weapons Wednesday videos. Uh, and if you wanna see those videos, it goes into all deep in, in, in depth into like what the weapons are, a little bit about the history and all the stats about it. So I won't be going into that today, but I wanna go unbox the weapons, see what I actually got for the first time and uh, see how good I think it would do in the zombie apocalypse. And of course, if you guys think I'm right or you guys think I'm completely wrong and something would be absolutely fantastic for the zombie apocalypse, let me know in the comments down below what you think. Starting off, we have our new Karambit. Now this Karambit is kind of cool. It looks like it comes with a special um, kind of belt holder thing that clips into place so you don't have to take your belt off in order to uh, secure it to your belt, which is really nice. I appreciate not having to completely undress in order to clip on a knife. So you can just slide that in, clip it into place, and it's locked in place so it doesn't accidentally come open or anything like that. But as far as the actual blade, Ooh, I love the sound of pulling off a, uh, a karambit out of the knife, but this is really nice, like really nice. The Silver Fang D2 steel blade. Um, I always love karambits. I think karambits are amazing for self-defense and amazing for uh, just general knife use. The curve of the blade actually allows you to make it uh, a lot easier to cut things in your blade. Uh, to cut things with your blade. I cannot talk. Like I said, this is vacation, so I'm kind of, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm off right now, but, uh, I really do like karambits. However, the range of a karambit really doesn't work for zombies. You don't want them to get so close, and this is only, what, like a three, four inch blade. You don't really want them to get that close, as well as, like, they, you're not, you know, stopping any zombie with a karambit, at least not what society sees as your normal zombie, right? Karambits can dismantle a person really well if in the hands of someone trained, but even in the hands of someone trained, you're not going to get the pain that you would get out of a normal person. You're not going to, like, I don't even know if zombies even need tendons the same way normal people do. And uh, so, uh, and you can let me know in the comments, but it would be better than nothing, that's for sure, because you could still hook into the brain and things like that. But uh, as far as zombie use, I'm going to give this a three and a half out of four, just because crampets are great, just not great in the zombie apocalypse. Next, we have our Armed Force Tactical Knife. I'm not sure exactly what kind of knife this is, um, but it's tactical, so, you know. Ooh, this is really nice. It has like a, um, it's a pocket knife. It doesn't flip open normally, um, but it has like a very... Um, uh, not ruby, but like a, a pearl uh, outer layer here that's really nice. I really enjoy that pearl um, handle, and it gives a classic feel. But it seems like, how do you open this? There's a button here, and this kind of slider, you slide that down. <laughs> Yo, that felt so smooth. That felt so smooth. And it's curved forward, so technically it would be uh, a karambit at, as well. It's just more of a, um, you definitely, I don't think you would use this as an inverted grip the same way. I guess you could, you could use anything inverted if you really wanted to, but it's definitely not like a karambit in that sense where I would definitely use it forwards here. Oh, I like this. And this piercing one, all these weapons come sharp out the box, which is great. But like this, you could really pierce pretty deep 
uh, into like the brain of a zombie. So it may be slightly better than the Karambit, but you're still gonna have the same general issues as a Karambit where I don't really wanna use a pocket knife. I, I wanna get range, right? I don't want them to be so close to me when I'm, when I'm dispatching them, especially if they're in a horde. So although this is super cool, let me see if I can put it, put the knife back. This, how does it put back? How does it get put back? I think it's this way. If I, if I, whoop, whoop, hang on, hang on. I think I got it. I think I know how to do it. Ah, yes, I do know how to do it. Yeah. So yeah, I, I do like this. And if it gets, like, as far as like a, a carry weapon that just you can easily keep with you and pull out whenever you need it, I really do enjoy it. Uh, and of course, it always comes with a, a good sheath that you can strap to your belt if you really wanted to. But for the zombies, a 3.2. I did it a little bit better than the Karambit, but still not the greatest as far as zombies. It's a great weapon, just not for the zombie apocalypse in my opinion. And again, let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with me. I'm gonna try and uh, leave a poll as well in the community tab just to see which one you think will be the best weapon for the zombie apocalypse. So if you go to the community tab, you can vote for it because I wanna get more you know, involvement. I wanna see what you guys think. I'm, I'm truly curious. Uh, we have two longer weapons here. We're gonna go with the shorter of the longer one. Ooh, oh, this is like the other one I got. Uh, I love these like leather um, scabbards on these swords. These leather scabbards are really nice. And I really like this um, this locking mechanism because this, it it um, the scabbard doesn't seem to be super tight, but that locking mechanism means you can hold it and it's, it's not going, like you can hold it upside down and it's never gonna go anywhere. So you can strap to a backpack. Um, honestly, using these straps right here or the belt, the strap here, you could strap it to literally whatever you wanted, making it really easy to carry around in the zombie pockets, which is definitely a bonus. So let's pull the, the, uh, the blade out. Let's see what we've gotten or we're working with. Boom. Ooh, ooh, very nice, very nice. Oh man. I know I just probably made a bunch of you mad by doing that, but I don't care. It's my show. <laughs> um, but the, the weight of this thing is really nice. It's not super heavy or anything. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have a ton of range, but personally, I really like short swords anyway because they serve a purpose not only in big areas where you have to plenty of range let's say you were in a forest like this you get plenty of range with the longer ones but this one you could use inside of a building without being super limited like you can you can swing without getting worried it's going to get stuck in the wall or cut open you know people around you that you may be needing to protect um so this is really good for i don't know if it would be my main weapon in the zombie apocalypse but it's really good for a sidearm and it has this strap here that you can definitely use to make sure even if you let go or if it gets stuck you can pull that string and keep it attached to your wrist <clears throat> excuse me and keep it attached to your wrist so that no matter what you have your weapon and it never is getting disarmed like you're never truly going to be without it which is really nice i always appreciate that because whether you're fighting zombies and the blade gets stuck or you're um you're fighting humans and you don't want to get disarmed again losing your weapon is not ideal and i really like this i'm going to give this a um a solid seven out of ten um as far as on the zombie killing scale i would absolutely keep this with me in my zombie apocalypse uh arsenal just because of the like the the variety of uses, the range, it's not too long, not too short, and the ability to carry this anywhere secured is super, super nice. Now, let's get to the last one. All right, this big boy right here. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, man. So, off the bat, this is a big sword. Look at this thing. Look at this monster. This is a giant sword. My my arm length for for reference is that's the blade alone. This is a great uh, katana. I think it's a katana length sword. We'll see how katana like the blade is once we open it. But it's gonna have these like dragon, yeah, these dragon prints in the scabbard that I really like, and a dragon head on the handles as well. That's really cool. So this has got to be like a dragon blade or something like that. Um, I don't know the names of these yet, so I'll find out soon. But yo yo this it's a blue blade i don't know if you could see it very well on camera but it's a blue blade with these patterns on it they don't look like any kanji specifically 
um, but they really look nice and add a nice like style to the blade because it's definitely got a theme, right? It's got that dragon, that ancient dragon, uh, ancient Chinese dragon type thing, right? Ancient Japanese dragon theme going on. Um, and I really like it. Like this would definitely be like a main weapon in the zombie apocalypse because you get so much range, right? But when you're outside with a blade like this, because, whoo, 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 oh, so nice. With a blade like this, you can really cut them down from range. And I'm sure decapitating people with this or zombies with this would be like, like butter. Like I can't wait to test out the cutting power that this thing has. And if I did it before I posted this video, I might even have a, a sneak peek in the video. But wow, this is, this is wild. Man, I really like this. This is honestly one of my favorite weapons that they've sent me so far. Um, I feel comfortable having that big uh, gripping space, has that big uh, handle here that allows me to use the, the weight of the weapon because it's a lot heavier than, than I would have thought. It's a whole lot heavier. I wonder what kind of steel this is um, and what kind of tang this is. It's, it feels solid, but it does feel like half tang. I'm not really sure, so I'll have to find out and talk about it later. But, man, this is awesome. Uh, as far as the uh, apocalypse, though, I'm getting lost in the sauce. As far as the apocalypse, though, I really do think uh, this would be like a main weapon, someone's main choice. I don't think it would be mine specifically, simply because I would rather go with a polearm uh, type weapon. But this is definitely a nice 8 or 9 out of 10 because this would 100% be someone's main weapon. Like Michonne, Michonne from Walking Dead could use this just fine, like I have no doubt. And so... This is, this is really cool, and if you want to hear the specs about any of these weapons and see how you can get any of them, I'll try to leave a link down in the description below, or you can just go to KarateMart.com's uh, YouTube channel and watch the most recent uh, video up there. I either posted it literally the day of, or this is like on a Saturday after. One of the two. It's, it's one of those things. I'm not really sure yet, but once I figure out... I'll put it down in the description so you guys can go and check it out if you wish. And of course, guys, thank you guys for watching. Drop a like and comment if you uh, want to see more of this stuff and have any pointers that you would like to see. And of course, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Be the Modern Ninja, but left off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to